If you're sick and tired of remembering all the different passwords for different websites and needing to send files to family and friends, well, this might be the solution for you. Synology's new cloud service for storing passwords has just been released and this is called C2 Password. And you know what the best part about it? It's free. Now I know there are a variety of different password managers, both cloud and local, but in this video, we're gonna take a look at how C2 Password works. But before we take a look at the software, first let's talk about some of the features that come built in with it. All your passwords are synced across all your devices using a web browser. The iOS app is coming later on this year and the Android app will be available in 2022. You're able to recover deleted items within the app. The web browser itself can assist with password generation. It has a built-in file transfer where you can upload and share files and even watermark them. You can store up to 10,000 items within the vault. You have a number of supported browsers, which, is, which are the likes of Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari. There are also extensions for Chrome, Edge, and Firefox as well. There is a complete end-to-end -end encryption and the passwords are stored using AES 256-bit encryption. And finally, the encryption key that encrypts all the data never leaves the device it was created on, leaving it less prone to being attacked. So let's jump straight into the demo and have a look at the software. When you first log in to C2 Password, you are then greeted by this page here for which you just click get started. If I move out of the way, you can see that just there, get started. Um, at the moment, I'm just using the free demo. So it allows you 10,000 volt items, cross device syncing, password generator and strength detector. So if you're not sure how strong your password is, that's within here. Built in one time passcode authenticator, uh, secure file transfer with the watermark features. So I did show this in the C2 transfer demo. So if you want to have a look at that, the link is in the description below. You can get emails with via one-time passwords. The max upload per transfer is 100 meg, which is still a reasonable size. The maximum number of concurrent transfers you can have is one with a maximum expiration date of seven days. So obviously the C2 transfer one expands a lot greater than that and there's a lot more granularity and you can have it longer also as well, but that is just here. And if you can see the mobile app is grayed out and that I believe is coming later on this year. So we click OK. Once that's finished loading, you then put, uh, greeted with this page, which says, welcome to the C2 password, your password management solution. Um, so you can import from a CSV file. So if you have all your data stored on a CSV file or you want to do a bulk import, you want to type everything out on, it, on Excel and then um, import that, you, you're welcome to do so. And you can also install the browser extension. So I'm going to quickly click install browser extension. It takes you to the Chrome store and then you can just click add to Chrome. So we click add, click add extension, and then that will add that in. So we'll have a quick look at that shortly as well. So let's close this. So back to here, we can click proceed. And now it's gonna ask you to set up an encryption key. Now, just like C2 transfer, you give yourself an encryption key. This will allow you to go in and out. So again, be sure to keep this password safe because um, you can see it says it just down here in the gray that we don't store your encryption key. So make sure you have it because this unlocks your passwords. Then you are greeted with a recovery code. Now this recovery code is your final straw. If you lose both your encryption key and your recovery code, there is no way you can get your data back. So in that case, any encrypted data is gone forever. So this is one thing, it is a very long and complex password or string of characters. So do make sure you keep this safe. You have the option to copy it to somewhere else. Just paste that across to another screen. And also you can download it as well. And there we go. Once it's downloaded, you're then greeted with the uh, front page of C2 password. So there's nothing else to configure on here. If I look in the top corner, um, it tells you it's a free service, so you're on the free subscription. There is a pro version coming, which will be a paid cost, but not quite sure what that looks like yet or how much that's going to be. You have at any other point, you have the option to install a browser extension. There's help, and that's FAQs, community, contact support, etc., etc., and you can sign out. So right now, I have nothing stored at all, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a password. So as soon as you click Add, it gives you the option to 
It gives you the option for a login, uh, identity, bank account, payment card, email account, secure note, wireless router, whatever you want to do anyway. So we click login. It's going to ask you for a display name. So I don't know, let's call this uh, C2 password demo. Um, the username for this account, let's just call it inside wire and the password, I'll just type in any old password. And you can see it's it's a fairly weak password. There's nothing strong about it. But as I start typing in other characters, it becomes strong. So it has that indicator just there. Um, if there's any specific URL, I don't know, let's just go, for example, youtube.com forward slash inside wire. That's for, for this account. Um, if you have a one-time passcode path, you can pop that in here. And if you want to start creating tags, for example, if you have a business and personal, you can separate it by using tags. And finally, there's an option to add a custom field. So you can add in text, more passwords. So if there's two passwords for there, uh, different URLs, addresses, attachments. So whatever you want to do, basically. Um, so from there, we click save. And there we go. We have our first password saved inside um, the C2 password vault. On the left hand side, you can see now it's created a login. I've added one more in here, but if I go to add and click add again. If I add in, for example, an email account, um, let's just go Gmail, uh, c2 demo at gmail.com, password, just type in a password, for example. Um, you can get it to connect everything all up in here, but I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to click save. You can see I have email account on the left hand side with login and all categories. What you're able to do is click add, and go to add. What would be really good is if you have the option to create custom categories here, but maybe that will be something that will come later down the line. So then moving down, you have favorites. So what that allows you to do is you go to all. If you click on password demo, there's a little heart button here. So you can click on that and that will add it to the favorites to you for you. So whenever you go across to here, you'll see those passwords there straight away. Then following you have the trash. What that allows is you can go to a, a password, for example, and click delete, and then you can delete it and it will go to the trash. Now, what this gives you generally is 30 days to restore the item back. After 30 days, it's automatically deleted. So if you delete something and you realize a few days later, I don't actually need it. Um, you can go back and restore it and it's quite simple to restore you click on the item There's a little restore button in the top here. You just click restore And there we go. That's now gone if I go back to all you can see that login has now been restored Lastly on the left hand side we have the password generator So you go between you can choose a password between 5 and 30 characters You can choose lowercase uppercase numbers whatever you want to choose um, however complex you want it and you can set something different for every site so it, you can click generate and every time it will give you a new password to choose for a different site I don't even know how many times it will take me to click generate for the same password to come back I guess if you know drop the answer in the comments below um, because I don't I'm sure it is a very high number but that's it for the password generator another feature I showed you earlier or I quickly installed was the plugin so you can see in the top, corner, uh, top right hand corner of the screen, we have the uh, C2 Synology plugin. You would just click login and login with the account that you created the uh, C2 password account with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and login. And again, it's gonna ask you for your encryption key. So remember I told you earlier how important the encryption key is. So make sure you keep that safe. And then you click unlock. So you can have a little look along here and you can see the different types of different items we have and then if we go across we have the password generator so you have that in with the plugin as well and then finally you have settings so the settings allows you to lock the c2 password so if you use this computer with multiple people you can lock it and you have different options along here 30 minutes 15 minutes one hour four hours on a browser restart or when the screen is locked you have the option for autofill, the passwords, or username and passwords if it knows it's the right site. And you can also save passwords for sites as well. So if you're signing up for something new and you want it to auto save the password, it can do that for you. Now one thing that is not built inside the extension is when you want to add something new, if you click the plus logo, it's going to take you back to the website. So that's actually loaded up on a different page. Um, 
which I'll show you just here. So there you go, it's loaded up on a different page um, and you just type in your encryption key and then you're back in. There we go, and then you have the option to add. The last thing to show you on the C2 password is the import. So I showed you add earlier. Um, we're gonna go ahead and look at importing from a CSV. So you can download a template. Um, once you download the template, it gives you the option to type in all your details. So I'll quickly show you the template. This is what it looks like. So you have your work, personal, whether you wanna make it a favorite, what type of login it is, the item name. It basically has all the information. So you can create your own. Um, along here if you wanted to however you want to do it but I'm not going to do that for now uh, I'm just going to use what's there at the moment so I'm going to go back across and I'm going to use that CSV file what we do then once we selected the CSV file we just click import and there we go you can see that's added those in it's added in a few more tags on the left hand side as well so you can personal social media Synology or work wherever you are or however you want to tag them you can do that and if I go back to all, you can see them all there. Um, you can see one of them was actually favorited. So if I go to favorite, um, you can see that Google account is there as well. The last thing of the C2 password demo is the file transfer. I'm not actually gonna go through the file transfer demo on this video. I have already done one for C2 transfer and it works exactly the same way, except with a few limitations. So if you want to check that out, there's a link down in the description below. You can click on that and you can see a full demo of how it works and what even the features are of C2 Transfer. This is still in its infancy when it comes up against some of the big players out there. But I'm waiting to see what new features will be coming to make this product even better. It's easy and simple to use. There are plugins for the browsers which make it a lot easier when you're surfing and even by auto filling your passwords when you use them or even any new ones when you create a new login. I do like the added touch of the file transfer being built in. It is very limited, but what do you really expect for a free product? I would be happy to use this as my cloud password manager. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you would use or if not, what alternative would you be using? I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.